Thank you for purchasing your new Voyager. Without a doubt, the Voyager is setting the pace for the triking industry. For the next few minutes, we will discuss the proper way to ride your new Voyager. With your left foot, step on the left foot peg. Grab the handlebars with both hands. Now, while watching out for the windshield, Swing your leg over the motorcycle and sit down. To dismount, hold on to the handlebars, stand up on the foot pegs, and step over and off the motorcycle. After years of riding your two-wheeler, putting your feet down to balance has become second nature. When riding the motorcycle, you never, never, ever have to put your feet down. If your feet are down when you take off, the Voyager wheel will run over your foot. The Voyager will always, always balance the bike. Please keep your feet on the foot pegs. When riding a two-wheel motorcycle, you lean the bike to make a turn. Press left, lean left, and go left. With the Voyager, you steer the bike like a sidecar or a trike. Pull left to go left and push with the opposite hand. Pull right to go right and push with the opposite hand. You can lean all you want. The bike will go straight until you push and pull on the handlebars. The motorcycle will steer in the direction that you point the front wheel. When turning, the motorcycle pivots inside the Voyager, and centrifugal force will push the bike towards the outside of the circle. When going through a curve, this force will make the bike lean in the opposite direction that a two-wheel motorcycle would. While turning, the inside wheel may come off the ground. The kit is designed to do this. It is normal for the inside wheel to come off the ground. There will always be two rear wheels on the ground at all times. With the Voyager kit installed, your bike is wider than it used to be. Please be careful when turning or in tight areas. Look at the fenders and make sure that they clear all obstructions. The first 500 miles are the most difficult for new riders. Motorcycle Tour Conversions recommends that you drive slow in turns and curves and drive cautiously at all times. Motorcycle Tour Conversions wants you to practice with your new kit. Find a big open parking lot to practice riding your Voyager. We went to a state park when it was not crowded for this practice session. First, in first gear, steer your motorcycle in circles. Make sure you pull and push on the handlebars. First to the right, and then to the left. Repeat this exercise several times. Next, do figure eights. First to the right, and then to the left. This exercise will teach you how to drive your motorcycle through curves and around corners. Remember to steer by pulling and pushing on the handlebars. When traveling on straight sections of road, we have found that if you lean right or left, this may cause the motorcycle to push in the opposite direction that you are leaning. To avoid this, always steer by pushing and pulling on the handlebars. Do not steer the bike by leaning. Your motorcycle will stop safer and faster with the Voyager. In a panic stop, you can apply both brakes as hard as you can. The rear end will not slide out from under you 
and the front of the bike will not flop to the side. When making emergency stops, hold onto the handlebars and remember, do not put your feet down. Keep them on the foot pegs. The motorcycle with the Voyager will track straight as an arrow. Using your front brake slightly more than the rear brake will save wear on the rear tire. Sometimes, when the back three wheels hit a bump, you will feel some front end shake in the handlebars. For example, going over railroad tracks. This is a common occurrence in trikes. If you hold onto the handlebars firmly with both hands and let centrifugal force work on the front wheel, the shake will go away. Remember, you are the steering damper for your motorcycle. The Voyager's belly bracket lowers your bike's ground clearance by an inch and a quarter. With this knowledge, try to avoid raised areas on the road such as speed bumps. You should also avoid potholes and other road hazards and slow down for railroad tracks. While riding on two wheels with the belly bracket on, remember the ground clearance is still reduced by one and one quarter inch. The Harley Davidson soft tail is low to the ground to start with and you will have to remove the belly bracket to ride it on two wheels. Just remove six U-bolts and the belly bracket is off. On some other models, the belly bracket may also be taken off to ride on two wheels. Check the ground clearance carefully. None of the motorcycle manufacturers recommend towing a trailer. The Voyager makes pulling a trailer a breeze. All the tongue weight of the trailer is on the Voyager suspension, not on the bike's suspension. You are now pulling the trailer from the middle of the motorcycle frame with the added stability of the Voyager. Now side winds or turbulence from passing trucks will not affect the ride. The Voyager requires very little maintenance. Visually, check the two main bolts going into the belly bracket. Make sure the bolts are tight. Periodically check all nuts and bolts for tightness. If you have insurance questions or need assistance finding a company that will insure the Voyager separately from your motorcycle, please call Motorcycle Tour Conversions at 815-434-7900. Your motorcycle is still licensed as a two-wheel motorcycle because the kit is easily detachable. No additional license is needed for the Voyager. The helmet laws in each state will still apply to the Voyager. The Voyager, with proper installation and maintenance, makes your two-wheel motorcycle a safer operating vehicle. The Voyager has been tested to meet all normal driving conditions. There are three ways to back up your Voyager. Number one, walk the bike back while you sit on the seat. Number two, get off and push the bike back. Number three, park your bike uphill. When ready to back up, just put the bike in neutral and let it roll down the hill. As you ride your Voyager, you will learn to plan where to park so you can drive forward out of a parking space. The Voyager, with its own suspension, is independent of the motorcycle. The wheels can go up on a six inch curb without the bike becoming high centered. Gravel, sand, or uneven pavement will no longer bother the Voyager rider. Rain and windy conditions usually do not affect the ride of your motorcycle. Common sense is to be used in extreme conditions. With two people, the Voyager can be removed and installed in just a few minutes. One person sits on and holds the motorcycle. The other person removes the two main bolts, then goes to the back of the Voyager and slides the kit off. Attach the portable kickstand in place properly and drive the motorcycle over the Voyager crossbar. 
To do this by yourself, install the two jacks on the belly bracket. Remove the two main bolts and slide the Voyager off the rear axle brackets. Now, remove the jack stands, left side first. Again, remember the portable kickstand and drive the motorcycle away. The Voyager kit fits over 100 different motorcycles. The kit is designed to go from bike to bike with you. The A model fits cruiser bikes. The B model fits touring bikes. Small kits for small bikes and a big kit for bigger bikes. To change bikes with the Voyager, you may have to buy new mounting hardware. Thank you for purchasing your Voyager kit and have fun riding like thousands of other Voyager owners.